It's fantastic to see these work together and uh, and uh, to like how they because of course like you know you do this stuff and it all everything speaks to each other everything is like you, like I always often think like you know you you uh, like the the works are almost like you know when you're composing a painting or something it's like you always compose a work in re in reaction to the work you just made before etc. So, so these are really, these are all works that sort of talk to each other. Yeah, I mean, the, this work here behind me, The Visitors, it's, uh, it's, uh, it was shot uh, up in Wokeby Farm, upstate New York, in the Hudson Valley. And uh, it's basically a place I had, you know, gotten to know a few years earlier when, uh, when I was doing a piece at Bart. So staying there, realizing, like, I really want to do something here, which, uh, where I can somehow kind of capture the crazy magic of that, this building. And then this idea sort of slowly was born to, to come and bring, you know, friends from the Reykjavik music scene, people like musicians I deeply admire, and sort of make a portrait of them in this setting in Rokeby Farm, upstate New York. So, and I, I often thought of it like, I think of this piece really also as a portrait of these musicians and then kind of in those settings in that light they really become like a John Singer Sergeant portraits. And Soledad Guterres, the curator, was she came up, we were thinking about title, and then she came up with this title, like from a, from a song by Björk, Emotional Landscape. And I was very happy about this idea because not only this is a good title to combine the works, but also I was very happy to kind of acknowledge the influence of, of Björk on my work and, and just on, on kind of the work in the Reykjavik scene. And like, I, you know, like I think we, I think I wouldn't exist as an artist in the things I do without, you know, living in the same village as, as Björk. That's like, that's a piece like The Man. It's really, was this unforgettable week in my life. I was just in Houston, Texas with, with Pine Top Perkins. Was in this gang of uh, musicians that created the, created the blues and then created, you know, which became rock and roll, which then became, you know, funk music, disco, whatever, hip hop. And like, so, just that, just like the blues is kind of the start of a, it's like the first global culture. And, uh, and I just found it fascinating to, to meet someone who is like, who was, took a part in creating something that just, is just so insanely huge. And you know, we can't get our head around, like, you know, that what they created in the Mississippi Delta became you know, with the 20th century and then the 21st century marching on. You know, it's in a way, you know, coming from a small place like Iceland and a small culture, then when we you know where we are always trying to strive to be like the Europeans or be like the Americans. And uh, so therefore I find it kind of fascinating to work with these big cultural themes of the, of kind of the, the big nations, or the big cultures. So it's sort of like kind of, anti-cultural appropriation. I mean, when you're like playing with culture that is like the dominant culture, but it's not your culture. It's so much kind of fascination and irony blended together. I think that's also like kind of the human state. It starts often with something ironic and then, you know, you take the irony away. And that's also something I, I once read Björk say in an interview, which I just loved. She said like all her songs start as, as a joke. And as she just carves the joke away and finds something emotional inside, and that's the song. 
I find the idea of uh, you know American nineteenth century landscape painting quite fascinating because I think that was also what like uh, all really inspired a piece like the end where you're like where you have these these paintings depicting the West, like the the new world, which was was always called. It's like it's really the world being colonized through paintings. And like that the Europeans are like claiming the land with painting it in like the in the uh, in the gestures of European culture. <laughs>